This design gave me the only hard time. I don't know if it was because of the new thread, the Madeira thread in my machine. That's a new color. It's not used to it or something, but my needle broke three times. The thread, it would stitch and the, it wasn't stitching. Like it was, the needle was going, but the thread wasn't doing what it had to do. So I had to take the, the hoop off the machine and take out my bobbin and fix the bobbin again and it started to work again but I'm telling you it took forever to finish this this line I'm gonna take it off the hoop and it didn't even stitch out right so this sweater is like right there it's off like it's supposed to be right on the finger and the stitch and I know it's not the design because I already tested it out and it stitched out fine. So I'm thinking it's because it kept messing up. So this is for my son-in-law so hopefully he'll understand. But I will redo it for him on another sweater. I have to order another one. But I'm going to take it off the hoop now to see how it looks. And this is the repositional hoop that I used on this sweater. The big hoop, which is the 5 by 12. Before I cut that off, I want to see what it looks like. I'll take the pins off. Oh. 
I'm watching um Adelaida live and I can see I just got a notification that Cindy is live. What do you do? I guess you can watch both of them. Let me open this up and lower the volume a little bit. It says surprise guest. I wonder if it's her husband. Let me lower it. And there, I'll watch both of them. <laughs> I'll support both of them. Let me like the video. I always like to like it when I come in. And there you go. I got both of them on. Alright, let me take this off. It's the water soluble. That's my little tiny scissors. So I could cut these jump stitches. Oh, she colored her hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, get out of here. Scan these. Right? I think that's how you say her name. I mean, well, her YouTube name. Bonnie. Wow, that's cool.
lay the shirt this way. So that's the way I made it on the. I'm gonna turn my shirt inside out because it's gonna float. And this is a size 18 to 24 months. The kit is gonna be one, and he's already going on 24 months of clothes so he's pretty he's pretty big for his age but sometimes I feel like the clothes are made too small like I don't know like they I don't know what kids what kids are they sizing because these kids are not small like I don't know it seems like the clothes are too small for them but anyway so I have to um move it this way I hope you can see that. Let me put this down again. So this is my hoop. Right? It's gonna go on the machine like this. So I have to hoop my shirt this way. It's like the sign is going this way. So I have to make sure that I get it in the middle. First let me spray. My basting spray here. Get it away from the machine. Get my shirt and I'm just gonna eyeball it. Move it all the way right there. So position right. that is centered. It's good. Let me stabilize up this next one so I can have it ready. This one is brand new, it's not dirty at all. So I'm gonna try to keep it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my stabilizer without the hoop. That's smart. I'm just gonna spray this myself. to get this too, too dirty like I did the other one. I just bought this one a couple of weeks ago. And as you can see, I have these little rubber things because it's hard to get these hoops in and out without hurting your fingers. And it's just one of those um, pencil grips, I guess is what they call them. I just cut it in half. I got this idea from somebody here on YouTube. I don't remember when I first started embroidering. I don't remember who it was, but thank you to whoever you are. All right, so this one I'm going to do, this is for a girl shirt. So I'm going to do, let me see which one I want to do. Oh, wait, is it a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. So I think I'm gonna do the one with the bow. This one is cute. So I'm gonna do that one. So that's gonna be on a shirt that is an extra small. And these I got from um, Walmart. They buy one donation. This is how they look. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna do the same thing. I gotta take this off. Little taggy thing. Turn it inside out and then straight. Make sure that I fold it in half correctly. Trying to get it right. 
grab it like this so I can make sure. line it up with the little notches here it shows you where the middle is and then just move it on to the adhesive and open it up like this let's move it out again and look at it inside make sure that it's smooth and then i'm going to look at it from up here and it looks good so that one's ready to go. So I'm just gonna set this to the side because I can only do one at a time. So I'm gonna get this one out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select what um, fabrics I'm gonna use for applique because I haven't even done that yet. And I will come back to you with what I have chosen. So there, I'm gonna cut it up. Ready. All right, so I picked up all of my fabric. I'm just gonna do red and black. The ties are gonna be red, I mean black, and the truck is gonna be red. And then all my colors. Lighting is horrible here, but it's gray, brown, and then like a, I guess a tan color. I think I'm going to switch this to a green. Battery died. Sorry about that, but I don't know 
know if you can see that. It's gonna look like it has a little red outline, the little C in the tractor trailer, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna sell this one because this one is too hard to get done on the PE800. If I had um, a bigger machine, I would be able to do it, but this will take too much of my time. And for now, I'm just taking this as a hobby because like I mentioned in my last video, things are not going right for me. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta sit down and take some time to look at my Etsy shop to see what changes I can make. Because I'm not getting no sales. I'm getting a lot of um, people favorite favoriting my some of my stuff in my shop. And I think that I need to like clean it out and just sell one type of thing. I, have, I think I have too many different things, even though they all like custom and personalized items, and that's what my shop is called. It's these custom design shop. So. But I think I'm gonna revamp things, revamp things on that Etsy shop, and just do personal items, personalized items such as um, sublimation stuff, and then open up a second Etsy and do my embroidery. I'm gonna try that to see if that works, and just have strictly just embroidery stuff like kids shirts, embroidered kids shirts, and then we'll see what happens from there. But that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So I'm going to redo all of my my listings in a new Etsy shop. And I plan on doing that this week and next week. I'm going to work on that. Yeah. That's my little um, idea there. And I hope it, it works for me. Because I don't know what else to do. So like I said, I'm just going to continue to do this because I love doing it I'm having fun and let's see what happens and if it doesn't go well for me then this will be my hobby I've always been a crafter I've been crafting for many many years I've done crochet I've done junk journals so many and if you go look at my crochet channel it has almost 40,000 subscribers and I haven't touched that channel in years. Well, not years. Maybe a year. I haven't crocheted in a year. So, I lost interest in that. So my Now I'm interested in embroidery and sublimation and, and making clothes. And, I don't know. Let's see what happens. And then paper crafting, I still love paper crafting. I, every chance I get, I do. Like, I just got an order for a whole bunch of party supplies stuff. Like, um, chip bags and water bottles and, um, the Capri Sun pouches, hand sanitizers, like, they want me to, you know, do the labels for it and all that. So, I'm going to be doing that for me. And then I'm helping with my grandson stuff. So, his party's next week. So, anyway. Let's continue the shirt.
this vlog. Um, this is, I think, the third one. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I do upload again, which will be very soon. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in the next one.